I wanted to create an outlet to, you know, recognize talents that maybe wouldn't be recognized otherwise. So, you know, you see all the big name talents recognized on a regular basis. Um, but some of the guys on a local level here in the local scene that have put in the work, that have put in the time, you know, maybe go unnoticed. And um, I wanted to change that. So I started the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. At the time, I was the booker for APCW, Action Pack Championship Wrestling. It was a small independent promotion uh, based out of Massachusetts. And uh, I was a booker. Um, I was also the ring announcer for the shows there. And I decided to implement the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame during the intermission of the show. So it would be in the ring and it would kind of, uh, you know, fill that void of intermission for anybody who didn't want to step away. And really the idea was to, you know, so people wouldn't step away. It would kind of keep the attention. So, um, you know, I would honor a few of the the local talents. Uh, started off small with uh, just a few. We had three mini ceremonies in the ring. Um, each ceremony was about 30 minutes, you know, at different shows. And that was in 2008 when I started that. Uh, it came uh, 2009 is when I turned it into its own event. Uh, so I wanted to set it apart from an actual wrestling show and have the Hall of Fame be its own event. So I rented out a banquet hall and had, you know, an event uh, just surrounded by the, the Hall of Fame atmosphere. So that was really special in 2009 and uh, a huge turnout. So, you know, I was thankful for that. Um, it was great to see so much support from the wrestling community. And uh, it just got bigger and better each year. We would continue running the Hall of Fame. And 2010 is when I decided to add the Fan Fest aspect to it. So I kind of turned it into, uh, you know, kind of a double whammy. At that time, it was a two-day event um, with both events. So.